Before getting into this video, please subscribe this channel. Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. I'll explain you how Cricket World Cup can become popular. World Cup is an important tournament in every sport making it popular and successful is very important. World Cup. It's a big event and like a festival, whatever sport it may be, it brings so much joy, enthusiasm, and a festive environment. Cricket World Cup has long history of 48 years, and it had given many historic moments, intense matches, and had impact on the game. So it's the duty of ICC to make it very special. Namibia, Zimbabwe, Scotland, Netherlands. These are upcoming teams which are giving tough competition to other teams and West Indies and Sri Lanka champion teams which should be given chance to play against top teams. If we conduct a 10-team World Cup, there will be no enough chances to good teams imagine conducting a 6-team World Cup and then feeling sad that South Africa didn't qualify or New Zealand didn't qualify. Same is happening now, just a 10-team World Cup. And West Indies didn't qualify and telling West Indies cricket is dead. And same with Sri Lanka. It's ICC's fault to take such a bad decision of conducting 10-team World Cup when there are 16 to 20 competitive teams. By watching these qualifiers and feeling these teams can even shock some big teams if given chance, like how Zimbabwe beat Pakistan and Netherlands beat SA, cricket can't be developed if ICC keep on conducting a 10-team or 5-team World Cup. ICC said matches between lower teams didn't generate viewership and ticket sales. We saw empty stadium during New Zealand versus Australia 2021 final. That doesn't mean they are lower sides. And if they say they are conducting 10-team World Cup for competition purpose, then conduct a five-team World Cup, including India, England, Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa. Because even Afghanistan lost all their nine matches in previous encounter. Even sometimes matches between England and India will be boring, so give chance to these teams or else cricket will never develop FIFA included 32 teams, but ICC keep on decreasing the teams for money. Conduct only one World Cup after four years and make that popular so better make T20. The main World Cup as it is easy for audience to watch matches and teams will be more competitive in T20. And many matches can be held on same day. We had five World Cups in six years from 2019 to 2024. Is this World Cup or league? The value and passion for World Cup will definitely be reduced if it's held every year. Even people from far places comes to watch World Cup if it's held only once in four years. Also, improve the stadium atmosphere like improving food quality, seating capacity, good view of the match, music, events, etc. Benefits of increasing teams in World Cup Competitive balance while some argue that increasing the number of teams dilutes the quality of cricket, it can also bring unpredictability and excitement to the tournament. Smaller teams have occasionally caused upsets against more prominent cricketing nations, adding a sense of competitiveness and surprise to the event. Diversity and inclusion. Expanding the World Cup promotes diversity and inclusion in cricket. It allows for the inclusion of teams from different regions, cultures, and backgrounds, celebrating the global nature of the sport. This can also attract a broader fan base, generating more interest and engagement worldwide. Competitive development. By involving more teams, the World Cup becomes a platform for developing cricketing talent in nations that are still emerging in the sport. Exposure to higher-level competition against established cricketing nations can help these teams improve their skills and infrastructure, ultimately raising the overall standard of cricket in those countries. Global representation. Including more teams in the World Cup allows for greater representation of cricket-playing nations from around the world. Cricket is played in numerous countries, and expanding the tournament provides an opportunity for teams that may not have qualified in the past to participate, fostering growth and interest in the sport globally. Increased media coverage. A larger number of teams in the World Cup attracts more media attention, both from mainstream media and cricket-focused outlets. This increased coverage helps promote the sport globally and provides a platform for players and teams to gain recognition. Exposure to top-level cricket For smaller cricketing nations, participating in the World Cup provides exposure to international cricket at the highest level. This exposure allows players to gain experience and learn from playing against the world's best, raising the overall standard of cricket in their countries. Encouraging Investment the inclusion of additional teams in the World Cup encourages cricket boards and governments of emerging cricket nations to invest more resources in the sport. This investment can lead to improved facilities, coaching programs, and overall cricket infrastructure. More thrilling matches. 
We can't do anything here, but I think T20 will give you this. Participation of top teams. This can be done by increasing teams, so there will be no chance of big teams like West Indies Sri Lanka missing the World Cup. Advertising. ICC is doing good advertising, so it can be improved a bit. Different hosts should be for every World Cup, so this will cricket grow there, and even their government start supporting the sport by developing infrastructure. It should also promote in non-participating nations, mostly in popular countries like Japan, USA, China. Comment down which team you are going to support. Thank you, everyone. Keep supporting me.